Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project computer shop management system and I have developed this project in Python, Django and MySQL. The version for the Python I am using the Python version 3 and the Django version is 2 and the MySQL version I am using the MySQL version 5.6. For connecting the Python Django with MySQL I am using the Python MySQL Django connector which you will get easily from the mysql.org website. This is a uh, web-based project. That's why uh, for developing the front end, I am using the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also I have used, like uh, form validations, date plugin, and uh, creating drop down menus. And for many more, I have I am using the jQuery plugins. <laughs> right. So this is all about the technology stack which currently I am using for developing this project, Computer Shop Management System. Okay. So let's start with the functionality. Go through. So as I told you earlier, the project title is Computer Shop Management System. It's a web-based mini Python, Django and MySQL DBMS project, right? Which contains admin functionality where admin can log in and admin can perform operations. There is no provision for the other customer logins or other user role login. It's a mini project. That's why it contains only and only admin login functionality. <coughs> okay, so let's start with the functionality go through. This is a home page. This is a about. Right, if you want to change the content of the about, then you can change it from the HTML page. This is a contact us page and it, it's, a, it's a static page and I'm not sending any type of email and SMS from this page. And uh, even I'm not saving the data of this contact us page anywhere in the database. Right, this is a login and the user ID is an admin and password test. If you don't have the user ID and password, then you can't log inside the system. Okay. So once you log in, then uh, you will get the admin dashboard. This is the admin dashboard where admin can perform these operations. Admin can add the product, admin can add the product sales, admin can see the product details, admin can see the product sales details and change password and log out. Right. So the these menus are also available on the header, set, <coughs> header bar. So you can see this same menu is available on the header bar also. Right. So let me go through one by one. So home page already I explained you. This is a dashboard. This is an ad product. This is an ad product from where you can add any number of products and uh, you can save the details into the database, right? So if you enter any information here, those information will be saved into a database. This is the product details. All of the product which has been added into the database will be displayed here. Currently, we have added eight products, right? And if you want to edit it, then you can edit it and delete it also, right? This is the edit and delete. This is the add product and this is the product details. Right. This is the sales management. This is the add sales from where you can start the sale. You can add the product for the customer. Right. So let me uh, enter the details. And once you click on the add, then this is the add sale dashboard. Here you can select the items right and you can add it into the card so you can see the items are getting added into the card right if you want to delete it then the item will be deleted from the card right so once you click on the save order then the this full page will be saved into the database and after that you can view it in later order history page this is a save order once you click on the save order then uh, this is a save order page and you can print it also and this all items have been saved into the database, right? Then this is add sales, which I already explained. This is the sales details, right? So you can see this is a view order where you will be able to see the order details, right? This is a change password from where you will be able to update your account password and you will be able to log in with your updated password and this is the logout once you log out the session will be destroyed and none of the above menu will be displayed right let me show you again the above menu is displaying if you log out this is not displaying so this is the session driven menu right so this is all about the project which i have developed and as i told you earlier this is a python django and mysql web based mini dbms project right if you need more functionality in this project, just put it into the comment. I will incorporate those changes. I will make this project more better and better according to your requirements. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.